the population of a certain bunny in a region at any time t in months can be modeled by a sinusoidal functions. Sinusoidal function is either sine or cosine, um, and it can have a phase shift, it can have different periods, and, and so on and so forth. Um, at time t equal to zero, the um, population is at its minimum, that's 3,000, and um, 1,000 bunnies. After 11 months, the population re reaches its maximum for the first time at t equal to uh, 7,000 um, bunnies, basically. Uh, going from a minimum to, look at this, from a minimum to a maximum is basically half of the period. So I know that uh, this information is giving me half of the period. Um, and min and max also is given. So the first question that is asking um, asking me is what is the period for P of T? Period comes from that 11 months. That's half of the period. So one half of P is equal to 11. Therefore, P is equal to 22 months. And then the next question is, uh, is asking, what is the average population of the bunnies over a period? Because the function of uh, sinusoidal functions are very um, um, basically, uh, they are because sinusoidal functions are symmetric. Um, about their midline, um, in in if integer number of periods is passing or infinite period is passing, the average value is the average between uh, the minimum and maximum value. So that's how I'm computing it. Then it's asking for the amplitude of P of T. So to find the amplitude, e either I can go uh, 7 minus 5, or I can go 5 minus 3, or I can go um, basically uh, 7 minus 3 divided by 2. Any of those is going to work for you. And all of those are going to give you the answer to. I know the amplitude, and I know the um, I know the period. So the question is asking me to basically graph the function. Again, approximate shape is up there. Let me uh, figure out what's the beginning value. Beginning value is three thousand. So we start at three thousand. Let's make this three thousand, and makes make this one. Um, the average, which is 5, and then uh, 7, which is the maximum. So I draw the midline. That is y equal to 7, um, 5, midline. And I know that the, um, the function is going to oscillate about that. And, and the function starts at 3 after let's say 11 months and then 22 months after 11 months it reaches maximum which is seven and then after 22 it has to be back over here and about halfway through here mm, better so that's about the shape. And then here's the maximum. And here's a minimum. And here's another minimum. And you can do more just uh, in the same routine. Uh, the next thing is, what is the function P of t? It's asking you to actually give the rule of the function. Uh, now I have to use that uh, 22. So what I want is basically, um, I'm looking for 
P of T equal to A. Let's use sine. We could use cosine. Either way is okay. Of uh, B times T plus C um, plus D. Um, D is going to be the midline or the average, which is 5. A comes from the uh, amplitude, which is 2. Um, C, if I plug in uh, 0 for T, so if I go I'm going to sign out, T equal to 0 is C, so I have um, Uh, this should be the beginning, original, or initial value is equal to 3. So I can solve for C minus 2. So sine of C is equal to negative 1, and therefore C should be equal to um, pi. I have. Um, therefore, C should be equal to 3 pi half. And so this is 3 pi half. Now, the last thing is that I have to find B. Remember, um, B times the period is supposed to equal to 2 pi. Therefore, b is equal to pi over 11. Uh, the general, if you want to memorize the uh, formula, b is going to be equal to 2 pi divided by period. So b is pi over 11. Therefore, the function is, uh, let's write it down again, p of t equal to 2 sine of pi over 11t plus 3 pi half plus 5. Uh, when does the population reach 4 thousands first? What does, uh, when does it reach 4 thousand and the second time? Uh, so the first time it reaches 4,000, again, uh, looking at this, there should be somewhere around here. And then the second time should be somewhere around there. Um, to find that, you basically use that function. You set the uh, 2 sine of pi over 11 plus 3 pi half plus 5 equal to. Now, solving here gives me a sine of pi over 11t plus 3 pi half is equal to, um, let's keep the 2, subtract 5, and negative 1, sine of pi over 11t plus 3 pi half is negative 1 half. Um, the angle, the reference angle that gives you negative 1 half back to the unit circle, and uh, you can see that in the unit, in, in your table, in the table theta, uh, sine theta, at pi 6, you have 1 half. And because it's a negative sign, you should go to the uh, third quadrant, uh, in fourth quadrant. So the answer to this is pi 11t plus 3 pi half is equal to either negative pi 6, and then also you can have it in the plus 2k pi. You can also have it in your, um, and in the uh, fourth quadrant, uh, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So either pi over sixth, or you can, negative pi over sixth, or the, the other one would be um, 7 pi over 6 plus 2k pi. 
this or 11 pi 6, both of them works. Um, now that we have that, let's solve for in each case, see what we get. Um, pi over 11, and I, as soon as I start solving, I realize that I'm going to end up with a negative sign, so I replace this by uh, 11 pi over 6, and so uh, pi over 11 times t is equal to uh, subtract 3 pi half from 11 pi over 6, and um, Basically, you end up with um, 11 pi over 6 minus 6 pi over 9 pi over common denominator, 9 pi over 6 um, plus 2k pi, and that is pi over 11t is equal to 2 pi over 6, which is pi third, plus 2k pi. And in this case, you get, if I solve again, I end up with um, 7 pi over 6 minus um, 9 pi over 6 plus 2k pi and pi over 11 t is equal to negative 2 pi over 6 which is minus pi over a third plus 2k pi and then uh, dividing by pi over 11 meaning multiplying by uh, 11 over pi you end up with t is equal to um, 11 third plus uh, 22k and t equal to minus 11 third plus 22k. Um, see which one of these is reasonable within the range that we decided it's going to go. Um, 11, um, if I plug in t equal to 0, 11 third is going to be um, somewhere around here. Uh, if I plug in t equal to 0 in here, I'm going to get a negative value down here. So let's plug in k equal to 1, and negative 11 third plus 22 is going to be uh, negative 11 plus 66 over 3, which is um, 55 over 3. Uh, that, it, that should be the, um, this is uh, less than uh, 22 because 22 uh, is going to be 66 over 3. So that should be this one. So that's the first one, and that's the second one. First time is 11 over 3. Second time is uh, 55 over 